Hey guys, Papa here. It's late, I'm tired, but I'm gonna give you a layout update and show you what I've done. Hey guys, as I said in the intro, I'm gonna give you a, a layout update. It's, it's pretty late, uh, clock's right up here. It's almost midnight. Um, I've got all my painting done. I'm going to show you that and uh, I'm going to explain to you a couple of ways I saved a little money because you know I always like to do things as cheaply as possible while still doing a good job. So let's take a look at the layout and I'll explain to you about some of the other stuff. Okay so my painting's done. I went with black for all the framework. Right out in front here this is going to be my uh, control center or whatever you want to call it. Um, I went with just a simple, kind of an earth tone top. Um, one of the ways I saved a lot of money, when I bought my black paint, um, I got a, you know, I went to my local Menards. Um, I do enjoy shopping there because you get all the, uh, the uh, rebates and I'm saving up my rebates to buy a new building. So the black is just a simple uh, Pittsburgh paint ultra flat black. It was uh, $21.67 a gallon, less my rebate, about $19. And then this is where I saved some money. So the paint for the top, I asked them, hey, do you guys have any paint that somebody returned? And they did. So I got a gallon of actually a very high quality paint um, for $9. So, and I didn't I wasn't too specific on an exact color. I just want something that had a bit of an earth tone. Uh, I would have liked something a little bit darker, but you know, it works. So, you know, if you're looking to paint your, your uh, tabletop of your, your uh, bench work and looking to save some money and you got a lot of space to cover, ask at your local hardware store. Do you have any paint that's been re recently returned? And uh, how much is it? So something else that I picked up today that uh, I actually picked it up yesterday that I consider a real money saver, um, wire is expensive. In this case, just my outer loop, I'm going to need about 100 feet, um, not, not including all the other stuff. I picked up through my Facebook marketplace, this guy had a box of uh, speaker cable. This is a 16 gauge two wire. Um, it's a 500 foot roll. He said he had used about 100 feet, so it's 400 feet. And uh, for $10, you can't go wrong. Now, one of his problems is it's in a casing. And if you're gonna be you know, running feeders, what are you gonna do? Look at it, it's real simple. You just pull that wire out. So I went through and I'll be right back. I pulled a couple of hundred feet out. So there you go. Show me where you're gonna get, that's a couple hundred feet right there and there's a couple hundred feet left in the box of 16 gauge two wire for $10 and I'll tell you to buy it. All right guys, so that's it tonight. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like and subscribe. Um, I can't thank you guys enough on uh, the fact that you guys are subscribing and making your comments too. I've had some really good comments on a lot of different stuff. Um, I think in the future, not too far, I'm going to do another one of my videos where I answer some of your questions. Um, oh, I also want to thank a bunch of you guys. Two videos ago, I went through a box of some stuff that I had picked up and I had a lot of questions because there was stuff in there that I did not know. I was amazed at how quickly I got responses. Uh, there was an American Flyer tender that I knew nothing about because I, I'm an Lionel guy and, and I am kind of still new to this, only a couple of years in. Um, instantly I found out what it was and it turned out it was something that was that definitely paid for the whole box on top of that. Um, there was some small things that I wasn't sure what they were. You guys, once again, stepped up to the plate and you told me exactly what I had and I appreciate it so much. So keep those comments, keep those questions that you might have. And, uh, you know, keep on liking my videos. I hope you, I hope you guys have a great night. 
Uh, it's about bedtime for me. Yeah, it's now it's after midnight, so um, got to work tomorrow. I'll be home next weekend, and uh, who knows? Maybe I might start doing a little wiring. Um, if so, we'll be posting a video. Um, I got a few family obligations next weekend, but uh, we'll, we'll see what I got time to do. If I got something, hopefully I'll get a video posted and uh, we'll be here for you guys. All right, thanks again. Love the fact that you guys are enjoying this. And uh, all right, everybody, have a good night. It's bedtime for me. Choo-choo.